Hey everybody, I'm Trevor Bales with Bales Hay Farm and Ranch. I am in East Texas and Wills Point with my brother-in-laws. My brother-in-laws have an organic farm and dairy. Two brothers, one does the farming, one does the dairying. That's the dairy guy right there, look at that mustache. So Kyle, what is so special about what these cows are laying on? Well, it's sawdust and we spread it out there in their pens to keep them dry and comfy and happy. And happy. What's a happy cow do? Makes lots of milk. Makes lots of milk. What is that guy doing? Well, that's the... Is it taking the milk up? Oh, is that yeah. milk? Yeah, that's the tank truck. Oh, okay. Now this is a really big barn, as you can see behind me. Now do you stack hay in these barns? I stack hay in my barns. I stack cattle in my barns. Stacks cows. I think he has a squeeze. He doesn't have a squeeze. You have a squeeze? No cow squeeze. Oh. So I think these cows want to kiss. What do you think? Ew. I Go kiss one. The... Go kiss one. Now that cow's not black and white. You're right. Why not? Is she okay? She's, she's, <laughs> she's, she's sick. Breed. Oh. She's a different breed of cow. She still makes milk. Still makes milk. It actually comes out that color. Kind of like a hint of chocolate. I think he's serious. He's a pretty serious guy. There's another hint of chocolate cow. Whoa, so these cows are organic. What makes, what's special about these cows that they're organic? Uh, organic cows don't cause cancer. I'm kidding. So they don't cause cancer. And they're on pasture, so they graze grass. They're fed all certified organic uh, meats. And they, we can't use any type of antibiotics or, you know, kind of conventional methods for, for keeping them healthy. I didn't know that. So no, no antibiotics. What happens? Do these cows ever get sick? Uh, occasionally, yeah. It is. We are in Texas. They say the weather changes a lot here. It sure does, Trevor. So what happens when one of these ladies gets sick? Are those all ladies? There's no bulls in there, are there? No bulls in that pen. We have a few, just, just, just for fun, so they can, you know, kind of feel young again. <laughs> So, okay. You know, go on a date, you know, maybe behind the water trough. So back to the original question. What happens when a cow gets sick? We have some kind of all natural homeopathic type okay. medicines we use. Um, we can give them anti-inflammatories. Do you guys have a witch doctor? No, but we, we're big on uh, essential oils and hacky sacks. That makes sense. Yeah. What are some of your chores on this dairy? Chores. Calf barn. Calf barn? So my main job at the calf barn is water, grain, and water. Grain and water. Do you ever milk the cows? Um, sometimes I milk them with my bare hands. Only what? A tiny bit. Do you ever drink the milk right out of the cow? Um, I think when I was very little. You don't call your mom a cow, that's rude. Uh, walking around this dairy, I've seen green tractors. Then there's a case loader. What's your favorite tractor? I'd say the one that has a dealer that comes and fixes it when it breaks. I can agree with that. Just because it's cheaper, doesn't, doesn't mean, mean it's, it's better. better. Jinx, he owes me a Coke. Kyle, being your brother-in-law, I know a little bit about your history. You guys have not been in East Texas very long. How long have you been here? Been here for six, six years. years. Six years. Where can you find this milk? You can find it at your local grocery store in a Horizon Organic bottle. Horizon, I've seen those. They're, they're, cart they're cartons, right? Yeah. They're bottles too. No, cartons. They're cartons. They're cartons. cartons. I've seen, they're red. red. Kyle, what are the, is that tank full of milk? No. What about that one behind us? It's no. Water. What about that one? No. Where's all the milk? They're all water. They're water? They're in special Yeah, tanks. those are really big tanks that are full with water. Do milk, do the cows drink that water? No. Oh. It's the water that flushes the I thought all there the was just milk away. in these tanks. Oh, it flushes the poop away. Do cows make a lot of poop? Yes. That makes sense. So these cows have some massive fans. They've gotta be seven foot in diameter. Do you think if we put those, if we took those fans, we could fly with them? Like a golden eagle, you could fly. Like a golden eagle, I like this guy, I like that mustache. Look at this. This is the best way to raise your kids, isn't it? I'll say. Look <laughs> at this guy. <laughs> Kyle, I just heard my nephew say, cows only have one row of teeth, is that true? Yeah, that's true, just on the bottom. I didn't that know that. I just assumed they had teeth on, both, on top and bottom. Chocolate cow. So that tank does not have milk? No. That's Are we ever gonna see a milk tank? No. Kyle, I just heard you say a cow was in the wrong pen. 
Yes, sir. So these cows don't just go in any pen? They have to be in specific pens? They have their specific pens so we that know they are at. assigned to. Oh. There's a squirrel in that tree. Where? See him hanging? Squirrel. So if these cows are organic cows that eat organic food, what kind of organic food do they eat? The organic alfalfa. Okay. TM. Uh, organic ryegrass. Silage. TM. <laughs> so you're saying they pretty much eat all the same things as other cows, it's just organic? Correct, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. We, yeah, they eat certain types of grass silages, uh, forages, some grain, corn, soybean beetles work in there. All the good stuff. Formulated by our nutritionists twice a month. Oh, oh, wow. Would it be okay if a person ate all those organic things? Um, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't hurt you. No, it would make a very interesting growler. Alfalfa would just plug you up, I would think. Yeah. Guess what? We're going to... Whoa, you guys have a bulldozer? Yes, sir. So cool. I want to bulldoze stuff. Hey. Here we are at the commodity barn. Gus, what are we looking at? We, right now, are looking at a John Deere tractor and a loader gotta do when we come in here guys. Always check for loaders. Always check. So Safety, what? Safety, number one priority. What will that loader do if you don't check for it? It will run you over. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. That looks like alfalfa. Is that alfalfa? You'd be correct, Trevor. Man, I know a good bale of alfalfa when I see it. Gus, would you like to tell us how these cows are fed? Whoa, that tractor's really low in the ground. Yeah. I think it's for so the loader can get up and dump it in. That's exactly right. This is basically like a giant kitchen, isn't it, Gus? Mm -hmm. Okay, how's it work? Let's pretend that the loader is like stuff for cookies. And so the loader takes... We're making cow cookies. Cow cookies. So you're saying all this food is like the ingredients for the cow cookies? Mm -hmm. Does a loader pick up the ingredients? What does he do with the ingredients once he picks it up? He dumps them in there. Oh, that's why it's loader, lower, so the loader can mm -hmm. dump inside of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens after the loader dumps the cow cookies in that red thing? Oh yeah, I forgot. It it mixes it up. and all. Does it chops them? Yeah, it chops, yeah, chops them too. And then it takes, goes out there in that feed lane that we were in. Mm -hmm. And then there's like this hole in the feed wagon okay. and it comes out. And there's like a little elevator, I think, and then it dumps the feed onto conveyor. this conveyor. conveyor. Oh, and like an elevator conveyor, I gotcha. No, conveyor, it's like Darth Vader. Oh, conveyor. Yeah, conveyor. Not a conveyor, that yeah, threw me off. Yeah, it's different. It goes through the conveyor. Delivers to the right. Delivers, Delivers to, to the right. To the right. To, to like a pizza pen. delivery guy. Like a pizza delivery guy. Gus, why do we want the feed wagon to chop and evenly mix the feed? So, um, so the cows can't uh, pick their chocolate chips out of their cookie and not eat the rest of the cookie? Yeah, you forgot. So that's really, that's why you guys chop it up so much, so they get everything. Yeah. Don't forget it again! Whoa. He's, he's being punished. This is the next guy to take over the dairy, so he's got to learn now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to go lock him that's, in this room for three hours. You're just joking. Loader. How many mix wagons are there? I think I see two. two. One dozer. One dozer, one flatbed, one cabin reel. Hey, I see hay stacked in a barn. That's the sawdust barn. But there's also hay in that barn. Yeah, yeah. it doubles. It's a double storage compound. But, but that's usually just the sawdust barn. Oh, okay. It usually is. There's the office. Kyle, we're driving through a real pretty area, trees, and it's grass, but I see rows. This this uh, this stuff looks like it was planted out here. Do the cattle roam these these pastures? Yes, sir. They they get pushed out here during our grazing season. Just uh, right here, have a little little uh, Scooby stuff. Yeah, we're these cows the have the life. This place yeah, is beautiful. Where do you need glasses? Random fact about this dairy, I proposed. Kyle's sister, 
on the lake. And then we took our engagement photos out here, so could never sell this place. Okay. We went from farm ground to jungle. Oh no, we're still on the farm cabin. Welcome to the jungle. What's under that tree? I am now sitting here with Gus again. Just kidding, I'm sitting here with Gus's mom, Kyle's wife. Hi. This is Jordan King. Jordan, being a stay-at-home mom with three of these, what are, you, what are the age ranges? Seven, four, and three. Goodness, Gus is mad. He has squirrel juice all over his legs. We were squirrel hunting earlier. He should not have squirrel juice all over his Does he have squirrel juice on him? He has squirrel juice. He has squirrel juice. Well, I'll let you talk. Tell us why you did this. There is sun. Do you want to put your sunglasses on? Yeah, we'll put our sunglasses on. We did it because the boys love raising animals. So what are we doing? We haven't even said what your business is. So it's the Good Beef Co. The Good Beef Co. Organic beef. We're going to do boxes. And you can do a subscription of a variety of different cuts. It's going to be awesome. So you guys are raising organic beef. Yes. And you are selling it to the public, correct? Yeah. It's organic oh. milk. And you and already organic had, beef. You already had the organic pasture for the organic cows. Why not get organic beef? So we got started because we love organic. We love these animals and I love cooking. I love design. There goes I love that guy. With, new stuff out. The guy with the mustache. What's he eating? This is the place for a little boy to grow up. There, that's all pasture out there. This is the backyard, toys. There's the house. This is a little boy's paradise. <laughs> like I want to grow up again, like out here in the middle of this. East Texas. So we're super excited because pretty soon we're gonna launch. You haven't launched yet. No. Nope, okay. Not yet. So the beef we had last night was just for us. This is just, just us. Okay. We were just. It was really good. So look for it. The Good Beef Co. We'll bring it up again. Hopefully we can get into the grocery stores around you too. Awesome. Thanks, Jordan. Yeah. Henry, myself, and Nicole have been here having fun for several days now. So yeah. tomorrow we go home though. His little boy is so cute. He's cute. And he's keeping up with my boys. So that shows you a lot. Yeah. Oh hey, didn't see you there. I'm enjoying a nice glass of eggnog this Sunday morning. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I'm here to interrupt this video, this awesome video, to tell you the 10 winners of the 10K giveaway. There were over 400 emails, so we did try to read all of them, but it was still difficult. I wanted to send everyone something, but we just couldn't do it. So first, Bradford Dawson, Matt second, Matt Lewis, Kevin Brookhart, Max Grumau, G-R-U-M-I-A-U-X. Sorry, I can't pronounce that. Frederick Wallengren, Lori Torrance, Josh Beeson from Climax, North Carolina, Mikey D, Little Ladies Farm, last but not least, Jesus Pino. Thanks everyone for everything, all the messages, all the likes, all the subscriptions. It means a lot to us and I'm excited for the year to come for all the new videos. Thanks again. So I'm sitting here with Kyle on a fence, admiring the dairy that he built. How much of the dairy was here when you guys got here? Zero. Zero? zero you guys dairy. built everything. There was zero dairy here. Wow, and now there are, how many of those big barns are there? Three? Uh, we got one, two, three, two, four, three four, five, four, five total barns for for cow stacking as we talked cow stacking that doesn't it doesn't take a squeeze no cows were squeezed in that process so you guys started with nothing and there it is it's beautiful that's a beautiful view i love it yeah not bad for an office right right it, and there's a lake with a it, the office view yeah it comes with a lake what's that thing in irrigation reel oh so you oh there's another one you guys irrigate yep uh, we dewater our or schwatter, as I like to call it. Schwatter? Yeah. You guys know what schwatter means? I think you know. I'll let you adults get it. If not, just, just ask and I'll tell you. Kyle, I want to thank you again. I've actually been here for almost a week, so we've been hanging out, eating dinner, drinking waters, and just enjoying thank ourselves. Coffee. Thank you again, and thank you for coffee. letting us walk through and do a quick interview. Sweet. What's your goat's name? David. What's your, what's your sheep's name? Shari. Shari, Mary, Larry, Ralph. Where are they from? Tari. Somewhere in the no somewhere in the northeast. Quinlan. Okay, Quinlan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they have a north northeasterly accent in Quinlan. <laughs>